two minutes of our time to Senator Hatch. Without objection. I want to thank the, my friend from California for her kindness and for her graciousness in allowing me this little bit of time to make a final remarks with regard to this, to this uh, bill that uh, Senator McConnell and I have filed. Now, we're going to be taking two votes here today on a critical issue in a few moments. Action on the fiscal cliff is long overdue. Before we vote, I would like to make three points. First, it has been suggested that the Hatch-McConnell bill fails to extend the earned income tax credit and child tax credit provisions. This is utterly false. The Hatch-McConnell bill extends these provisions as they were originally agreed to in 2001. And that agreement actually doubled the child tax credit. Democrats are complaining that our bill does not extend the stimulus provisions that expanded these provisions even further and made them more refundable. Democrats sold the stimulus bill as being timely, temporary, and uh, targeted. And now they are holding up tax relief for nearly every income taxpayer unless these stimulus provisions that are mostly spending through the tax code are extended yet again. Second, the Democrats' proposal includes a significant increase in the death tax. The number of death tax filers will increase under their bill by 11 times. This is what they are proposing. 98,300 new filers will now have to fill out estate tax forms, get appraisals, deal with the IRS, and get all this done within nine months of the death of a loved one. That is the equivalent of one entire mid-sized American city being forced to deal with the te death tax every year. Third, the Democrats' bill is a massive tax increase on small business job creators. It would subject 53% of all flow-through business income in the United States to higher taxes. There is a compromise here. The Senator's time has expired. I ask for an additional 30 seconds with an equivalent to the other side. Is there an objection? Without objection. There is a compromise here. It is the Hatch-McConnell bill. Our economy needs relief. Businesses and families need certainty. And all we are proposing is extending current tax law for one more year so that we can dedicate that year and do tax reform. By contrast, the Democratic bill offers nothing but more uncertainty and tax increases on job creators. Let's face it, we're talking about 940,000 small businesses that will be drastically affected by this. Many of those provide jobs in our society and will continue to do so if we don't clobber them with uh, the Democrat approach. I yield the floor.